So, <clears throat> in conclusion to uh, what happened to me at the uh, Burger King or the burger spot, whatever you want to call it, um, a week ago, a couple, yeah, about a week ago. Now, I told y'all I called the police and they was acting nonchalant. Then I later on, I went back and asked the Lord, what was going, what was that all about? Why the police act like they couldn't help me? And then the lady, you know, that, well, the, the next day I went back to get some more food from the day before when they didn't give it to me. And they gave me some food, but, you know, all that. But the, the night before, the night that happened when I called the police, and they, the police came and talked to me. They had like they couldn't do nothing either. And the Lord told me to tell them, ain't nothing you can do that you don't want to do. And they was like, what are you saying? They looked at each other. It was quiet. It was real quiet. Excuse me. It was real quiet. And the Lord said, repeat, tell them again. He said, there's nothing that you can do that you don't want to do. So I had to think about it. And then, you know, I was sitting here today after I just made the video I just made. And the Lord let me know. The Lord let me know that um when I was like, Lord, why the police was like nonchalant when I saw him again. It was nonchalant the first time when I called him to the church, it was nonchalant again. He came to my room, I was talking to him, you know, and I was like, so I asked him today, you know. After the situation at uh, the airport, and he let me know by revelation that the police are involved with profit harm. I ain't say nothing sexual. I ain't talking about that. When I say involved, they involved in this hit because I walked into a gas station a couple of days ago. And the police sitting in there looking at me like, yeah, he finna get shot, saying it subliminally. I'm looking at him like, so, you know, in a situation like that, you really can't say nothing because then folk make you look like you're crazy, but they make you look like you're crazy. You know, I'm going to stop all the, you know, why they bother me and need to leave me alone. No, I ain't finna get like that no more. It's a different time now. The Lord told me, he's well, you either going to operate in my anointing he said, he said, you need to operate in my anointing, not in fear. I said, okay. I noticed when I started operating in anointing, I seen what happened. Fear is an open door to the enemy. They can get you when, you, when they see fear. Ain't no fear here. Um, your police are connected with Prophet Khan, which is why they're looking at me sideways like they really don't want to hear what I'm saying because they know what he told them. Which is why he preached and said. One of the most perfect examples in the Bible of a more mentality and the spirit of increase was a man named Joseph. Yeah. It was all over him. No matter where he was, hallelujah. No matter where he was, he ended up in charge. And God knew that he couldn't make him king and second man over Pharaoh's house without working the bread out of him. So you anointed for more, but you still got to go to jail. Because you got to be processed. Okay, that's good preaching there. Look at somebody and shout and say, you being processed. How you going to process it out? I'm going to let your brothers turn on you. I'm going to process that bread out of you. I'm going to let you end up in jail for something you didn't do. How am I going to get that bread at you? I'm going to let you get lied on. And I'm going to let her talk about you. And I'm going to let people believe the lie. 